bother, but I gotta take a chance. Oh, I'm already gone, so just pray for me. Hey fam, and welcome back. I've been fantastic. If you're my channel, welcome. My name is Esther Kumis. My J. Okay, I love you. All right, <laughs> I do. Even if Dolby just met, I love you. All right, okay. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing out a new brand that's finally in Australia. Actually, I got this product a couple of weeks ago. I'm finally getting around to filming it. I'm so excited. Okay. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face using Flower Beauty products. If you don't, if you don't know who or what Flower Beauty is, Flower Beauty is Drew Barrymore's line. If you don't know who Drew Barrymore is, hello, who you are? Who you have? Who are you? You should know who Fl um, Flower Beauty, who Drew Barrymore is. I love Drew Barrymore in Fifty First Dates, and I even love her in Santa Clarita's Santa Clarita's Diet. That's always hard to say, but anyway, just because I love her doesn't mean I'm not gonna be honest with you about this product. You all know my mouth is already big enough already. Anyway, so we are still gonna, you know, maintain that integrity and honesty. Okay, so yeah, let's jump into this video. If you subscribe, make sure you subscribe down below. Thumbs up this video, turn notification so that we don't miss out any single video from me. All right, without further ado, let's just straight into this video, fam. All right, so I've got the list of the products here. This is the receipts that comes that came with the box. All right, and I've just gone ahead and put the US prices next to the Australian prices. I try to get the UK prices online just now, and Superdrug website doesn't seem to be working for me. I'm like, what's going on? So I apologize. All right, but it will kind of be around the same kind of figure with US prices, you know, for you UK bam bam. Okay, if you're here in Australia, Flower Beauty is available at um in at in where who ha in cosmetic chemist warehouse i can't speak and in the u.s it's available available it's available and in the u.s it's available on flowerbeauty.com and also altar.com as well altar beauty altar.com whatever and in the uk it's available on super drug came really nice and packaged so let's just get it out i actually kind of forgot the things that i bought until i was you know putting the prices together the other night oh that's cool so i try to get as much of full face of products as i can get is that even a correct english i don't understand honestly this week my my mouth my tongue has just been it just has not been working right for me i don't understand okay but anyway let's just move on if you hear any blunder in this video just ignore it or just laugh and move on okay the main thing i'm really excited about i mean i'm excited about all the other products but i'm excited about this because i love masks all right so i picked up the flower love the way you look radiance boosting sheet mask they say this has a brightening effect and a fresh faced glow it's a luminous pearl power up that's what it looks like how much was this so this was 3.99 australian dollars 3.99 I don't think I put the U U.S. price, but it was three ninety nine Australian dollars. All right, so it'd be like two something for you guys in the U.S. You know what I mean? And U.K. So I want to put this on first. I've already kind of applied my hyaluronic acid by the ordinary. All right. Oh, they said there's only one sheet in here. Oh, there's three. <gasps> three ninety nine. Three sheet masks for three not four. Let's just say four dollar. Three ninety nine. That's just that's just trying to cheat people. One cent. Where are you, where are you gonna find one cent? Three ninety nine. Four dollar. <laughs> Prep skin by cleansing. And removing any makeup we've done that unfold oh let me say moisturize before you anyway i've already applied my hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid is meant to just you know give you that more of a hydration boost anyway so whatever hydration you're gonna get from this is just gonna amplify it anyway so that's okay it's okay leave on for 10 to 15 minutes have you guys seen that video of that guy that was applying face mask really flawlessly i tried to apply for it so the other night no <laughs> I, don't, I don't know so you can actually look pretty when you have face mask on i had no idea all right so this is it Ooh, oh there's a lot of juice in there i love juice i should have put this in the fridge beforehand i love having my mask in the fridge because it just feels nice and cold this is where things go down because you're trying to untangle this you know it just doesn't work does anyone else try and figure out like which one is the right side which one is the wrong side <sighs> okay swiftly when you're trying to be fancy with your mask it smells pretty the mask it smells like um like a rose like a like a, like it smells like a like a beautiful flower but not pungent it's not a pungent smell pungent i love that word pungent oh <laughs> i just i just spot everywhere like that teacher pay attention people. there's no more juice with that guy, it literally looked like the, the mask that he applied matched better than most foundations match me, okay? Why does it match him like that though? Okay, I've been applying this thing for ten for nine minutes. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave this on for the set 10 to 15 minutes. We'll be right back. 
All right, we're back. It has been actually, it's been about 37 minutes and this is drying down and that is not what you do. Like you don't let it, you don't wait until it's fully dried out because it's going to be sucking out moisture, moisture from your face. But you know what I love though? Even though this is dry on my face, I can still feel a bit of moisture underneath it. Okay. So here we go. Yes, I can still feel a little, oh, it's actually kind of stuck on my face. That's nice. I can still feel a bit of moisture, but if I leave it for another like five minutes or whatever, it's going to start sucking out the moisture from my face. And that's, that's not what I want. All right. But I like the mask. My face is kind of nice and tacky and it feels cool as well. I still like that smell though, you know? Okay. So I love that mask and I actually found that I actually put the US price on the sheet as well. I just kind of scribbled it. So it looks like an hashtag, but it is $4 in the US as well. This feels nice and tacky. If it's like it's ready for foundation like i shouldn't apply primer but i'm just gonna go ahead and apply primer speaking of primer let's go in with primer actually i need to do my brows and i don't think i bought any brow product so i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and i will be right back and i'm back what should we do what can i say unto the lord all i've gotta say is thank you what shall i say i don't know why that's in my head anyway let's go what should i do should i do eyes first or face we're gonna go ahead and do eyes i did buy eyeshadow palette it's in one of these so they have about three eyeshadow palettes they only have the sugar rush palette here and the golden natural palette and this retails for 13.99 here in australia it's 11.99 currently on alter.com in the us from 16.99 this is what it looks like and it also has a brush in it as well which they say is a bonus six dollar brush this brush feels really really light it kind of feels like a pencil to be honest and this is what the palette looks like so let me go ahead and prep my eyelid this is the l'oreal infallible more than concealer in the shade 338 honey oh my god i think i only see one matte this is a really deep gray brown color okay this is another matte it just looked like it had a little bit of a shimmer shift to it but it's a matte color it blends out nicely okay so the quality is not bad so there's actually three mattes in here and the rest are shimmers it's quite dusty all right it's quite 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 dusty quite kickbacky <laughs> Ooh, very pigmented whoa it's a lot of pigment and apply the rest in the crease i don't i think i might have just mixed my colors either that or this color is oxidizing from a brown color to a deeper gray black brown color <laughs> And I think it's the latter. Kind of looks a little bit muddy, doesn't it? Let's use this one right here. It's like kind of like a rose gold shimmer shade. Ooh, that's quite crumbly. Let's apply it right here. Ooh, that's nice. Just using my finger. Can't say I can recommend this palette because it doesn't really work effortlessly for me. Or maybe it's just me. This brown color right here, as it actually looks more green now. This one right here, you know. It has a bit more green shift to it. So you go into it thinking you're actually getting a brown color, but when you apply it and you keep blending and you mix it with other colors, it kind of turns a little bit green. You know what I mean? And it's a sort of green though. It's not a like a tan yang 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 green. You know what I mean? I don't know what that means, but you know what I mean. Hopefully you do. I really don't know about this eye, but it's me. We're going to keep cleaning it up as we go. Now, I think I picked up eyeliner. Yes, I did. And I'm looking at it right now. It looks like I picked up a brown eyeliner. This is the flower. We know it's flower. Forever wear tenu eternal longwear eyeliner <laughs> in the shade brownstone i think i picked brownstone because i felt like i don't have anything brown eyeliner in my collection i wanted something brown that's how much you get that's cool actually how much is this 7.99 $7 it's currently 5.59 at, at, at alta oh it feels really smooth oh that's a nice brown oh that is a beautiful brown i don't regret buying this i'm gonna use it to shade the top of my lash line all right there we go i like this eyeliner right like it's very smooth to apply it just glide on really nice and easily so love that i don't like this i'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes maybe it's gonna make things look a little bit better i'm gonna be applying this lashes right here this this style then i'll be right back ah. all right and we're back i have gone ahead and changed a little bit of something on my eyes and i have been through so much in the past hour not not about the makeup per se it's mainly about my camera i don't know what was happening it was like something was pressing it and i'm the only one in this house you know what i mean god forbid i would be in jesus name but anyway um i hope the lighting everything is still okay I, I really don't know what's happening so i have gone ahead and changed a couple of things in my eyes i actually literally wiped the eye makeup off and applied it again by using my e27 brush instead to apply the brown shadow i still use the same color and i use this concealer brush to apply the shimmer shade and i also apply a little bit of shimmer shade in my um, brow bone as well with this brush as well i feel like it looks a little bit better but my opinion still kind of stands with this eyeshadow palette all right next we've got primer so this is the flower in your prime perfecting primer and this retails for 9.99 here in australia and it's 10.99 
29 and alter in the US. I love the packaging. It comes in a squeezy tube. Favorite packaging ever. But I really love this gold detail that they've got on here. You know, like the rose gold detail. Hmm, it's quite white, isn't it? It has no scent to it. So this is supposed to moisturize and visibly smooth and soften the skin while creating a perfect base for foundation. That's literally the only, the only description they've got on the back of the primer. It's very, very, very liquidy. Very, like, very like water i feel still feels tacky from the sheet mask this is hydrating actually the color you see in that o right there is the color of the primer it dries down to a bit of a semi matte consistency all right let's go into foundation so this is the flower beauty light illusion luminous makeup new skin feel all day wear broad spectrum spf 18 sunscreen foundation foundation oh my goodness and i picked up the shade nutmeg this retails for 13.99 here in australia and in the uk um and in the us as well so it comes in a glass bottle you have have that nice rose gold color and it comes with a pump as well you know and this is a 30 ml or 1.0 fluid ounce i think they've got about 10 shades i'm not really quite sure it's not a lot of shades it's not a lot of shade range but oh the pump doesn't really dispense a lot so this is what the shade nutmeg looks like ignore that that's for my concealer that I used to prep my lid this looks more warm orange not orange golden i'm gonna go ahead and use my beauty sponge that's nice it has no scent to it, which is good. Whoa, that is a beautiful, beautiful application. Do you see that? This is more of a light coverage, in my opinion. I don't know what coverage they're claiming for it. Okay, so there's more, like when you peel off the back, there's more information at the back, so that's cool. Apply 15 minutes for sun exposure. The description literally reminds me of the description on the Elf Flawless Makeup Foundation. The first ingredient is water, so that's cool. What was I looking for? I've forgotten already what I was looking for. I was looking for the coverage claim. I don't think there's any coverage claim, but this is more of a light coverage. Let me try and build it up. So as you can see, it dries down a little bit darker. Do you see the difference? As most foundation does anyway. It looks really luminous, doesn't it? That's literally 10 pumps. <laughs> and it looks like one pump. Looks like I'm painting my face face looks really radiant so this is good we've got a medium to kind of almost full coverage my face is looking wet <laughs> so let's go into concealer which is in this packaging right here this is a fly beauty light illusion full coverage concealer oh so the concealer they're saying is full coverage interesting okay this is also a glass bottle or whatever it's called and this is what the concealer looks like so it's 9.99 in Ulta right now and it's also 9.99 here in australia and this is the doe foot applicator it's kind of flat and bended or maybe that's just yeah that's how it is just bended that way okay i don't know what that scent is but it's not a disturbing scent okay that's a beautiful shade oh yes oh that's really nice and creamy like feels feels good under the eyes and i think i applied way too much i like this doe foot applicator even though it's skinny that that natural bend that it has you know you see that bend it just makes applying it easier that's nice i don't need to wait because it still maintains its coverage it's not full coverage though that's so easy to blend i applied way too much i look like i'm trying to be a different skin tone first impression it feels nice on the face it applies really nicely on the face it's easy to blend in terms of review recommendation i can't really say anything about the foundation or the concealer right now my skin looks really natural looking at it in the mirror right here i can still see all my textures right here all of the textures but um it's not terrible i'm loving that foundation it looks really nice and natural on the skin as well like my skin looks healthy do you know what i mean all right let's go ahead and set it i picked up this powder which comes in this huge box do you see this and this is called the flower miracle matte translucent finishing powder and this is what the box looks like so it's a translucent finishing powder they say it minimizes imperfection it's mattifying yeah that's what they say on the box really oh <gasps> look at this whoa this looks like a cloud do you see this do you see this it's literally white. I love this packaging. <gasps> love this. So there's a sticker right there. Oh, so you just pull it up. <gasps> love this. This is huge though. Do you see this? It comes with a puff as well. And the inside is covered, it's sealed. This is a really white packaging that you can't really see it. Okay. So with all this packaging, there's not much. Is there a lot in here? Oh, you can actually open it. The powder feels really 
the powder feels like um the rcma no color powder no no it feels like that nyx hd finishing powder that i hate <laughs> sorry but i don't like that powder for my face this is looking good actually oh that concealer is creasing under the eyes though oh my god there's powder all over me all over so do you see the dust in here <sighs> So with all of that packaging, that's all we've got. You can't see this because it's so bright. But it's not a lot. Literally, I can pour the amount that's in here in my hand. <laughs> that's what's in here. <laughs> How much is this? Oh my God. How much is this? $9.99? $9.99. So that's literally what's in here. That's the powder that's in here. <laughs> with all this packaging. I thought with the packaging, like you can't see the that is big the lid alone is big the inside here is deep but the powder is small <laughs> maybe because you don't like it uh, oh i was gonna say because a little bit goes a long way but i literally just use the sponge to pack up the powder and not a lot of let me just let's just apply jerry it's okay <laughs> hopefully it's a true <laughs> when i pick it up yeah so you see <sighs> it just leaves <laughs> Like usually when you pick up powder, yeah, and you blow it off, there's still some lot left on there. But this one just evaporates. Okay. <laughs> All right. <coughs> mm. This is not it. Oh, the powder actually just goes in the sponge. So when you squeeze it, <gasps> so when I'm trying to apply it, it's just... <sighs> you know it's actually setting nicely i'm just laughing about the packaging i was expecting a lot of powder all right this set <laughs> i look like i've been dipping my face in substances i shouldn't be using but this <laughs> this looks this set it sets it sets the thing nicely it sets the concealer nicely i just look ashy it doesn't really change the color of the foundation a whole lot there's a tiny bit of ultra in there, okay? But it's not a whole lot. And even I say that the powder reminds me of the NYX HD finishing powder, that one that I don't like as much. A lot. I don't like it at all, okay? This one is still kind of a little bit better than that one because even though this one feels really, really silky, very, it feels, it feels like cornstarch, okay? It still applies beautifully. Like it just gives it that nice veil, like smooth canvas, you know what I mean? All right, so we, we've got highlighting palette, but before I go in to use the highlighting palette, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly bronze my face because we need that all right i don't think they have bronzers um flower beauty do they i'm not sure all right so here we go now i'm gonna go ahead and highlight what the flower beauty shimmer and strobe highlighting palette this is what it looks like and this retails for 9.99 here in australia and 13.99 in the us and ultra and it comes with this highlighting brush we're actually gonna use this let's use it why not i mean do you it feels really so soft so there's three highlighting powders here that's nice one i'm using the same thing Finger. because when i literally apply it it literally leaves my finger <laughs> two three all right that's nice it feels a bit powdery the highlighters you know what i want to kind of apply the the pink one right here let's see how it does as a blush it will be a shimmery blush let's just okay it's not a blush it's a highlighter let's just apply it right here since i already picked it up we don't want to waste it i'm gonna use the brush to just soften it a bit more all right that's not bad actually okay so i'm gonna pick this one right here which is like a like a light gold oh that's pretty. It matches my brow bone. This brush takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's not bad. So I, I'm not gonna throw it away, of course. It's gonna be in the highlighting palette, especially if I decide to give this away to a friend of mine or whatever in the future. Like, you know, they need to have something to use it with, you know? Actually, the highlighter in the highlighting palette and the shimmer shades in the eyeshadow palette are the same formula. They feel like they're the same formula. We're not looking terrible, okay? We're not looking terrible, do you know what I mean? The highlighting palette, I'm not necessarily a big fan of it either. Next i picked up i actually bought a blush i forgot about this i actually bought a blush oh my goodness this is the flower pot powder blush they say it's a soft satin finish easy to blend with a beautiful color blush oh. <sighs> I bought the shade Sweet Pea. This looks pretty. I love that floweriness, flowerness in it, okay? Ooh. <laughs> I don't really see it in my mirror. And then I looked at the viewfinder and I, I was about to look like a, a pink fairy punched me in the face. Wow, it's a bit ashy. This is not 
the shade that I should have bought. It's really hard to buy these things online, you know, especially blush, especially when you're not patient enough to see other people use it on camera, you know? It feels soft. Let me compare it to my all time favorite blush. Oh, yes. Yeah, doesn't it doesn't beat the elf blush palette. It doesn't beat it because this one feels, I mean, yes, they say silky or whatever, but it just feels, um, it looks ashy and feels kind of ashy. Like the formula, it's like a formula of the powder, which is not my absolute favorite either, you know? This is the Flower Beauty Mix and Matte. Mix it, I almost said Mix and Match. It's actually Mix and Matte Lip Duo. So there's two finishes, infinite looks. So there's a high coverage matte color and a matching pearlized gloss. And I picked up the shade Honey Nude. Yes. Okay, so we've got the lipstick. Oh, nice. And the gloss nice yes there's the lipstick right there let me just put it here hmm ashy why did i pick up all these ashy shades and this is the gloss hmm should we line the lips should we wipe this off can i be bothered hmm okay that ain't bad. Let me line the lips a bit. I'm just gonna grab the eyeliner pen from Star Beauty because um, I can't bother looking for a lip liner. Oh, Lord Jesus. The glass. Ooh, that's nice. The applicator doesn't really pick up a whole lot though. It feels really nice on the lips, very comfortable on the lips as well. All right, so here we go. My face is all done. I actually, it's actually been about three hours or so, okay? Some, there's just been some weird stuff going on, especially with my camera. I really cannot put my finger on it. I'm trying not to be too angry or be too anxious. I've cried a couple of times already, but let's just move on, okay? I've also already said the first part of this video. So it's been about three hours because the time right now is 6.25 and I left you guys around five minutes past three earlier on. Okay, so I also took a couple of flash photos as well. The flashback from this powder was not it, okay? It just, uh, 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 all right? So without rambling on too much, let me just talk to you about this product, okay? So I've already arranged the product in my order of preference, all right? But before I go ahead and tell you my order of preference, the two main products that I can highly, 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 highly recommend is the Flower Beauty Sheet Mask and the eyeliner. I love the way this eyeliner feels on the eyes and whatnot. It's just really nice and smooth and it's very, very pigmented as well. And it seemed to have a long longevity to it as well because I can try and rub it off, but it's still there. Do you know what I mean? And the sheet mask, I really like the way this felt on the skin. So the highlighter is first on the list. The sheet mask is my second favorite. The lipstick duo is my third favorite because I just like the way it looks. I like the way it feels on the lips. It's very, very, um, it kind of feels a bit balmy. Is that the right word? It's not as pigmented, but I like the way it feels. So it's still third on the list now one product i didn't show you guys if i left earlier is the seal the deal setting spray i actually bought the dewy finish one they have a couple of these but i decided to pick the dewy finish one because most of the time i use a mattifying primer and i just want to look a little bit more hydrated once i'm done with my makeup that's why i bought this one this is not bad okay it's just the nozzle or, or whatever that i don't like because it doesn't really spray as misty as i would like it to compare to this one do you see that? But once you've applied it though, it dries down to that kind of like a tacky feeling, but not too, too, too tacky, okay? So it's not bad. This is nine on the list, the bottom of the list, okay? This is the bottom three, one of the bottom three, okay? Mm, the matte in this eyeshadow palette is a bit troublesome, all right? Yeah, the fact that I even had to do my eyeshadow twice, it, it just tells you what, what, what I need to tell you, okay? It's not terrible, but it's not really likable to me. And it's not my cup of coffee, neither it's my cup of tea. The shimmers in here, I kind of like the shimmer or the highlighters in the highlighting palette, in my opinion. I don't know, I wouldn't really tell my sister, for example, or my friend to go and buy this. And you guys are my friends. I wouldn't tell you to go and rush and go and get this. Maybe once I try the other eyeshadow palettes, I might like it more, but nah, okay? That's why it's bottom three. Now, another thing that's in the bottom three is the blush. And I feel bad for this because I think it might be because of the shade that I picked up, you know what I mean? I think I swatched it earlier, yeah. It might be because of the shade that I picked up because it looks a little bit ashy, especially on my skin tone. So maybe I need to try another shade of this before I give my full opinion on it. But right now, it's in the bottom three. Now the last and final product, on this list, that's my least favorite, is the powder. Even though I said earlier that it kind of gave me nice, uh, a nice smooth canvas and whatnot, like it made my face look and feel smooth. And my face still looks really smooth, especially right here, you know? And I think it's because of the powder, but that flashback and whatnot is not my cup of tea. And also I notice as well that right here, this place looks a bit dry. The texture right here, literally on both sides, look to have like come together for a meeting and really just suck the moisture out of my face. And I feel it's mostly because of the powder. So that's 
all I've got to say about these products. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all the products that I use in today's video. Have you used any of the products I use in, in today's video already? Have you, have you used them before? Share your opinion and thoughts and whatnot down below, okay? Yeah, I think that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching, babes. I'm sorry this video was too long. And once again, I apologize for the quality of this video kind of bouncing about. I really don't know what's happening, but I hope I figure it out sometime soon, okay? Before my next video, all right? Mm. Mm. All right. Thank you so much for watching, Fem Bam. As always, whatever you're doing to love yourself, and I'll see you in my very next video. Bye.